Hi, I'm Chef Paul and you're cooking with me here at Carl Becker House. Today I'm going to be uh, showing you one of my favorite um, cooking applications. We're going to be using uh, a fresh uh, whole turkey. And uh, we have these great ingredients here that are going to be incorporated. We have a uh, basic mirepoix. So we have uh, carrots, celery, onions. And we have some fresh herbs. We have uh, a scraped black pepper. We have dried thyme. Uh, fresh parsley, we have um, bay leaves, um, so we also have uh, sage, kosher salt, lemon, and parsley stems. So um, the recipe that we have here today is Chef Tony Caragas. Uh It's a Lithuanian roasted turkey and it's Chef Tony's grandmother's recipe. So this is just going to be great to recreate something from Chef Tony's childhood and just um, try to make this, uh, you know, just to, to bring back great memories for Chef Tony cooking at his grandmother's house. So I'm just really excited. So uh, first we wanna put uh, some fresh lemons in the carcass and uh, that's just gonna give it a great uh, lemony scent and uh, aromatics. And we'll be putting uh, these fresh parsley stems that we saved from uh, other chopped parsley dishes that we used and uh, we've been putting some bay leaves inside. And uh, then what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna truss our turkey. We'll be using some butcher's twine. So what we're gonna do is uh, take the butcher's twine and you wanna just get like wrap them right around the legs and uh, kind of make a figure eight with the, the twine. And you can see that uh, you can just pull that really tight. And that's gonna be that's going to hold this turkey together so that it roasts really evenly. With the wing tip, we're just going to tuck it right in to the turkey so that it roasts um, just very evenly. We'll do that with both sides. Just tuck it right around like that. And then we'll take the, our string and we're going to tie this right below the crown of the turkey. And this is going to hold it together and we're going to get a nice even cooking from this beautiful bird. So what we want to do now is we'll just uh, we'll salt this really well. We'll just use uh, some fresh cracked black pepper. Another technique that I use is um, I'll use some uh, some oil on the skin and just kind of rub that in after I salt and pepper the skin. This is going to make it just really crispy and golden brown when it comes out of the oven. So we're just going to be using a, just a, a mirepoix, which is 50% onion, 25% carrot, and 25% celery. And uh, we'll just dice this onion. So this is going to go on a roasting pan. And these vegetables, along with roasting the turkey, they're just going to caramelize. So we're going to want big chunks of fresh celery. Those in carrots. And then we'll use a little bit of oil on these vegetables and then season them. Fresh kosher salt, cracked black pepper, and then uh, Chef Cavardis. Uh, his grandmother's recipe calls for some fresh herbs. So we're going to do some fresh sage, parsley. This is so great to be able to uh, cook something that uh, comes from a heritage of someone that I respect so much. And, uh, we'll just put some bay leaf in there some cracked black peppercorn and then uh, we're going to put our beautiful truss turkey right on the middle of this vegetable 
And when this comes out of the oven, it's just going to be beautiful and golden brown. It's going to be delicious. So uh, we'll go right into our hearth oven here. This provides a great um, heat for the for the turkey. And what, this is at 375 degrees. So we're going to start at a higher heat and to really brown that skin. And then we'll lower the heat to finish it cooking because it's a very long process. It's going to take about four hours. Hi, so it's uh, been four hours. We're going to check our turkey recipe to see how Chef Karagas' grandmother's turkey recipe turned out. So let's take a look at this beautiful bird. Oh man, something happened. That's, it's, that's really small compared to the turkey that we had. Wait a minute, let me go get the chef. Chef Tony. What happened? Something followed? happened with the turkey. Did you follow the recipe? Yeah, I followed the recipe like you said, but uh, I think that this a lot is of- Chef Frog? Yeah. Oh, it might have been the other grandmother that had a good recipe. Yeah, but I mean, I think that a lot of the fat and water just rendered out of the turkey. I mean, it's... Well, look, we're going to have to get a different vendor. And uh, in the meantime, okay. we have 10 people to serve tonight, so yeah, we're, we're going to have to use good. a lot of garnish. I'll get you some garnish, and we're going to have it. We'll just Wait. tell it. We'll tell everybody it's eating healthy at Becker. Okay, so we're going to use more vegetables? More vegetables. That more sounds vegetables. great, Chef. I'm great, Becker. All right, so let's do this. Here you go, Chef Paul. You put this garnish around and just make oh, wow, it look cool. great. It's vegetables. We have, some, vegetables eating healthy. we have some great, beautiful carrots. Some uh, wonderful Brussels sprouts. We'll just kind of layer all these beautiful vegetables around. Oh, this is actually great. So we're going to be incorporating a lot more fresh vegetables um, than the ratio compared to meat. I think they're gonna love this. This looks beautiful. I'll get the staff ready to eat. Sounds good. Remember to eat all to find all these great vegetables across campus.